Hello there fellow developers, so you might have gotten yourself a Plesk installation and you're looking to get SSL certification on it so it's not going to show you HTTPS with the red icon here, you want to have that green lock. You might want to also have, instead of an IP address, to, to have a subdomain there that would point to your actual domain. In this quick tutorial we're going to look at how to do that and it's going to be fairly quickly, so let's dive in. To get started, once your Plesk is installed, you would click on Advanced and you would proceed to your Plesk installation. In this case, I'm already logged in, but you might need to log in um, and you would probably be redirected to the home page. So this is probably where you're going to land. Now to make that change, you would need to I uh, first uh, point a domain to your Plesk installation. To point your domain, all you need is to add three A records. To add three A records, what you will need to do is you will need to access your DNS settings in your hosting provider. Um, sorry, in your domain registrar, you might want to contact your registrar. And if you don't know who your registrar is, that's another question. You might want to ask your web developer but given that you know who your registrar is you would need to access dns settings in this case we're going to be looking at my domain icamish.com and in here you would need to add three a records a at your domain name then a w uh, three w's with your sorry with your ip address and um, somewhere I've read that you should put a star that which basically implies that everything goes to that IP address, but I'm not exactly sure if that's needed or not. It will work with those two records. Once your records are added and you, it actually points to your new um, uh, installation, uh, meaning that you would type in your domain name and you will see Plesk on the home screen, then you know that everything has propagated. Now, once you achieve that, you would go over to Tools and Settings and you would scroll down. And what we want to um, press here is SSL TLS certificates. And then here you would click Let's Encrypt. Give it a minute to load. And you'll see that I've actually done this already. So I'm, I'm going to need to change this um, email address. But nevertheless, this is like default email that's here. Um, add your domain name. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be using a subdomain, my.ikimage.com. And then you would click issue. In this case, I, I would reissue it, but you would click issue the certificate, it's going to process it and once it will process, let's do it together I'm just going to reissue it you'll get to this page, so it seems like nothing has happened but in reality it has happened because if you open up a new screen here, a new tab and you would go to my akimage.com you will see that it will take you directly to the login page of your server, sort of your Plesk installation. So that's how you add the SSL certificate as well as your domain name on your new Plesk installation. Hopefully that was helpful. We do professional websites, so if you need a website or if you know somebody that might need a good quality, inexpensive websites, we design and build them. Our website is webaka.com check us out check out our portfolio and we'll be more than happy to build a website for you we are in united states thank you